Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course, we will learn how to configure the back for app client so we can upload code to back for app. Uh, you can see here on my console that I have the client already installed. So before A, you have to install the client first. We have a tutorial of how to do it here in server settings. And we scroll down to command line tool. It will open how do you set up uh, the client on your machine. Once that's done, you can come to this menu up here and click account keys and give it a name, so Alexis key. And click this plus sign, it will generate the key for you. Just copy it. And back to my terminal. I have to type B4A configure account key. Then I paste my key and now everything is done. Now if I go back to my dashboard and then back to my console, I have to go to the directory of my application and I have to type B4A new. This will start a new back for app project. It will ask me if it's a new application or an existing one, since I have my application already working, it's an existing application. It will list the applications that I have. So number one is parse crash course. It will ask for a directory name. If I don't put anything, it will give me the same name. So I'm going to type uh, parse crash course without the spaces. And it will ask me if it's a blank project or if it will bring the code that is already there. So this is a, a uh, already existing uh, code. So I just press enter. And now if I list my folders, you'll see I have my folder parse crash course there. So CD. And here I have two folders, the cloud folder and public folder. The cloud co uh, folder is for keeping uh, source code and the public folder is for keeping HTML files and uh, image files or any contact, uh, static content that you need to run your uh, promotional website in Backfrag. So if I go to cloud, you see I have a main.js file there. The name of the main file must be main.js. So if I open it, and open with, you see I already have a hello world function there as an example. So on the next episodes we will talk about cloud code which are a very powerful tool for, uh, for programming and all this was needed, so when I have to change code here, so let's change this text there, so from hello world to hello to parse crash course, and I'm going to save it. And in order to send the code back to back for app, I have to type b4a deploy. It will load the files. And once it's done, if I go back to my Safari and Cloud Code Functions, you see I have my main.js here and I index HTML there. If I click this, you see the changes are reflected here and this is already working. So on the next episodes, we will dig deeper into Cloud Code. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you back on the next episode. See you soon. Bye bye.